Well, yes, I'm down here with Daniel Kish, who's the world's first blind and certified orientation and mobility specialist. And he's developed a, a, a approach that um, is, he, he has termed flash sonar. Daniel, can you tell us a little bit about this approach and, and how you've developed it? It's an active form of echolocation uh, that allows a blind individual to see using flashes of sound instead of flashes of light. An individual emits flashes of sound, they may be in the form of a tongue click, and uses those flashes to illuminate the environment and extract information from the returning sound waves, sound waves that return from surfaces in the environment, and then we can construct images based on the information that we have extracted. Now I have to say, Daniel, when I first heard about this, uh, I, I couldn't quite understand um, the, the whole technique. So I think it's best um, when you demonstrate it. Now, you did give us a bit of a demonstration in this park here that we're in. So let's take a bit of a look now. You can go in there. So it's some kind of a, I don't know, maybe an art piece or something. So we can go in between. This is cool, actually. We can go in between here, so we can go in here, we can go through here, we can count the little poles here. One, two, three. Okay, so this is like a little sitting area. I touch the table here with my cane, but not with my hand. So I can basically tell that this is a roofed in, uh, we'll call it a gazebo, surrounded by poles. Here we've got a small tree, much, much smaller than the other one. And with much lower leaves, let me see if I can isolate the trunk. Well, it's hard because it's all covered with leaves, but yeah, I can't really get in there. So that's Daniel's flash son sonar in action. Now, Daniel, tell us a little bit about your personal story. Uh, you've been blind since you were a baby, so, uh, so how, did, how did it all happen? I've always been able to do this, um, and uh, I think it has to do with how I was raised. I was raised to pretty much be involved in all of the other things that kids were doing. I went to regular school, I played with sighted children, I had to have an equalizer. Um, as I've grown older, my interest uh, has turned more to developing methods of teaching it and helping people to learn it. Many blind people use this uh, to one degree or another but are often unaware of it and our hope is to help blind people become more aware of it so that they can become conscious of developing and refining it and uh, integrating it more naturally into their daily lives. Now Guide Dogs New South Wales has brought you to Australia to, to teach these workshops. How does it change people's lives? How do you see changes in, in people's lives that you're teaching? It generally helps people become more confident, they're more aware of their surroundings, they're more aware of the options that they have within their surroundings. So it enables people to interact with their environment more quickly, uh, with more precision, with more grace people can participate in a wider range of activities with greater levels of comf comfort and confidence. They can conduct themselves with more poise. It just basically adds a dimension to a person's ability to interact with the environment effectively.